Welcome to the crack of dawn. I'm so glad you're tuning in, tuning in on my new hair. Thank you, Gino, at the gallery. Look at how gorgeous it is. My guest today is Joanne Newell. Joanne is from Ireland, from Donegal, right? Yep. And Joanne and I have been friends through school. We have kids in Farmington together. And I thought, you know what? It's St. Patrick's Day. So I said I should wear green, huh, Joanne? She said, well, I'll wear green, but they don't usually do the green thing in St. Patrick's Day, right? No, we don't. So I was saying to Joanne, I was like, um, do they drink green beer? No, we don't drink green beer. We don't wear green. It's you don't wear that. green? No. The green comes from the shamrocks. The green comes from the shamrock, and, and the, the shamrock sh represents good luck? No. No, I'm wrong again. It's a religious-based holiday, mm -hmm. so it represents the trinity of the Son, the Holy Ghost, and the Father. Wow. Yeah. We learn something every, new, every day here. So there's not a lot of Irish people in Farmington, I don't think. Or you're probably probably not. a lot of Irish-American people, but I don't know how but many, But not a lot actually. of people from. Yeah. And you moved to the States when you were how old? 21. 21. So I like the t, they say that in, in Britain, Britain, New Britain. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is we are gonna do, if you can see behind us, Joanne had said that in Ireland, in Dublin, these doors are very popular, the doors of Dublin. So these doors, we're gonna go and we're gonna try to, I can hear my directors in the background, so it's kind of baffling. But today we're gonna do a door from Dublin. So, in Dublin, hold on one second, Kathleen, <laughs> I, I can hear you guys and I can't, yeah, but we're gonna go over it. So sometimes we've got some new camera people here. Thank you, Gabriel, thank you, Joe, thank you, Kat, thank you, Brian. Um, so the doors of Dublin, um, if you've ever been to Dublin, I noticed that a lot of the buildings are pubs and they're red and green and colorful, but I never noticed, are those same buildings, these? No, so that would be Georgian architecture in Dublin, which typically was a very popular style of architecture in the 1700s. And if you go to Dublin, and if you've ever heard of St. Stephen's Green or Fitzwilliam Square in Dublin, and you want to go and see some typical Georgian architecture, they are very famous um, and sort of a tourist attraction. Oh, you know, I didn't know that. Something to go see. Yes. And you know, what I do sometimes is I do smaller paintings of my friends' doors. I'll go by their house and snap a picture when they're not looking, and then when the birthday comes or whatever they're doing, they have a nice little picture of their house. And these little frames are great, too. These little stands, I'm sorry. These you can get at AC Moore. They're like $3.99. Very cute. So what we're going to do is focus on my sketch, and Joanne is going to kind of watch me sketch mine while she does hers. Okay, so for focusing on mine first, we can watch me draw it, and Joanne can go along by looking at one of these too. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna draw a, a uh, rectangle, okay? It doesn't have to be in the center. Okay, so just a rectangle. If it's not perfect, don't worry about it, okay? And on the top, do these doors all have these rainbow yes, things on the top? Yes, they do. Okay. Yeah, it's very typical. So that's great. Um, and um, Joanne's from Donegal. Is Donegal, uh, I know, different? So Donegal um, is in the northwest of Ireland. So you're actually, so Dublin's on the east coast. If you go to the west coast and go north, it's the most northern county in the republic. So we're right next door to northern Ireland where everybody thinks people are, you know, Letting crazy. off bombs and going crazy, but, but they're, not. Um, they're not really. So, um, our big claim to fame is not the last Star Wars movie, but I think the movie <gasps> before that oh, was yeah. filmed up on the coastline really? in northwest Donegal, further north than where I'm from. But definitely, um, a lot of the scenery, when you look at that, I don't know which Star Wars movie, the name of it. I think it was the last one, right? Um, but um, that's Donegal. So it's very rural. It's a lot like um, Vermont. Oh, really? Sort of mainly farming communities. Um, not a lot of industry. Um, very rugged. Mm -hmm. We're the fifth largest county mm -hmm. in Ireland. Wow. But we have a pretty low population. I don't quote me on it. I'd say... 20,000? Oh, no, a bit more than that. Maybe about 40,000 people. Okay, so that's like two towns of Farmington thrown together. Yeah. 
Oh. Yeah. And but. then the size of Ireland is about the same size as the state of Connecticut. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't so know that. So if you actually kind of took Ireland and flipped it a little bit. Really? It's that yeah, small? Yeah, it's not very big. Wow. Um, but it's just much more, um, the roads aren't as developed as they would be here. So it's kind of harder to get around, but it's not very big. And I always ask Joanne, when is a good time to visit Ireland? Because she says it's always raining anyway and it's never, you know, a beach weather, but sometimes. No, you never go for the weather, but I think a nice time to go is September. And another nice time to go is kind of April, May, because it's less touristy. And uh, the one nice thing in the summer is we get sunlight from about five o'clock in the morning till about 10.30 at night. Because mm -hmm. if you look at us geographically in the world, we're very far north. If you look at Greenland and then come over from Greenland, we're pretty close to that. So, so lots of nice sun, well not sunshine, but at least daylight yeah. in the summer. But then in the winter, the sun comes up at about eight o'clock in the morning and it starts going down at about three o'clock in the afternoon. That's so. great. And does everybody go to the beach or no? Not a lot of people. We beach all go to, beach, go to the beach. But, <laughs> you know, you might have to wear your winter coat in the middle of <laughs> June. <laughs> I love it. And your mom still lives there and your brother. Yeah, my brother lives outside of Belfast and my mother still lives where I grew up. And your brother, I hear, has some fancy bed and breakfast that's pretty nice. So if anybody ever goes out there, I don't know if you can book it because he's doing pretty well. But what is that called again? <laughs> it's pretty cool. If you want to get married, um, oh, it yes. would be a good place to go. But um, And it's outside of Belfast. It's a place called Hillmont House. You've got to look up Hillmont House and yeah. watch the video. It's absolutely beautiful for anybody Irish that wants to get married out there or anybody that wants to get married out there. <laughs> it's so much fun. You want to renew your vows. Just don't make your guests play for their plane ticket. No. Uh, no. So what, what I'm doing here is I forgot my white, which is totally bad. But you know what? This is why it's so great to wing it. You know, I always wing it because you know, things just happen, and guess what? I don't have any white. And this part of the door is usually white, Joanne says. So you know what, sometimes when you don't have the white, just leave it white. So what do we do? We dip the water. So what we're gonna do is dip the water in here, and since we don't have any white, I'm gonna show Joanne how to make this brick color, because she said that most of these buildings are brick, and then they have the fancy door. Yeah. So I mixed this peach color, Ooh. which they call flesh, but that's okay. not allowed anymore because that's just dumb. Nobody's that color, as I said. I'm not even that color. So we mix this flesh color because it's yeah. the only thing closest to white that I have. And then I mix a little red and a little brown until I get this kind of brickety color. And you want it to be watery because if you have it watery, it, you can Ooh, spread it. I think it. I used too much. Okay, and we'll keep red. holding them up. But I wanted Joanne on because I wanted to know more about Ireland. Now, um, does everybody, how many people speak Gaelic there now? Well, it depends where you grow up. So like everybody re is required to be able to read and write and speak Irish at a certain level of proficiency. So to graduate high school, you know the way you have to have a certain number of credits. We have to be able to pass a standardized test in Irish but you can do it at a more rigorous level or an easier level. But if you fail Irish in high school, you essentially don't graduate. Really? No. And you have nuns? And I, nuns? Oh, not anymore, but I but grew up with nuns, yeah. And they don't have them anymore? No. Not, well, people don't really want to be nuns anymore. Really? Huh. No, well, no, well I wouldn't fancy it. No. You know? <laughs> but that's me. I wouldn't fancy it. Yeah, no, not Great. really. But, um, so anyway, we learn Irish, we start in kindergarten, we go all the way to the end of high school, and then um, depending on where you grow up, you either grow up in somewhere where English is your first language, okay. like I grew up, yeah. English was my first language, but then if I go about 60 miles north of where I live in Donegal, it's still in Donegal, their primary language is Irish, and it's called the Gaeltacht. The what? The Gaeltacht. Gleiltacht. Which is really Irish, the Irish word for Irish. Is yeah. Gleiltacht. 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 Like so when quail. you go to the Gleiltacht, all Gleiltacht. the... Um, I'll learn all this when you go to Ireland. <laughs> all the signs are in Irish. Their predominant language is Irish. They l go to school and learn all their core subjects in Irish. Mm -hmm. um, and 
then depending on where you're from in the Gaeltacht, the way you speak Irish, the dialect is different from Gaeltacht to Gaeltacht. Wow. Does your mother speak? My mother, when she went to school, learned everything through Irish, but she didn't grow up in a Gaeltacht wow. speaking area. That's amazing. Yeah. That's great. What's your favorite part of Ireland? Well, I love Partial Donegal. to Donegal. I like Donegal because not many people want to go to Donegal. Everybody goes to Kerry or Galway or Dublin or um, a lot of people don't go to Donegal because it's kind of a bit of a hike. And, but I like the ruralness of Donegal. I like the vast coastline that's unspoiled. It's not very touristy. Um, it's a pretty a rugged rural area. But Galway's lovely. Uh, parts of Kerry are lovely. Kerry, um, I've been to Kerry. Cork is lovely. And I cliffs, like the country. The I cliffs are everywhere? The cliffs of Moher in County Clare. Clare. A lot of people go to County Clare. Are there any other cliffs like them that compare? Well, we actually um, have the highest cliffs in Europe in Donegal. Wow. Uh, really? Called Sleeve League, which is about... If you go into Donegal County and you're heading out from Donegal Town, it's about another 20 minute drive. And when you get there, um, you literally have to hike into this um, place to see, see the cliffs, but they are the highest set of cliffs in Europe that are completely unspoiled. Wow. Yeah. Now, do people do the cruise ship thing and fall over the side and die? No, not really. But okay. you can take you can take <laughs> a, you can take a <laughs> ferry out to the cliffs. But every time I see somebody doing that, I think you're just probably vomiting <laughs> because the, the sea is so rough. It is. I wouldn't huh? fancy. Yeah, I wouldn't fancy it. You're very fast. I can't do this. She's this going fast. a little slower, but it's not a big deal because you know, 24 minutes goes. You know, we don't have the white. But this episode was more about getting to know Joanne. Um, so they have an Aldi. Yes, I'm a big fan of Aldi and Little. And Little. Yes. So she brings me back these wonderful, actually, didn't she bring me a crack of something crack? Yes. A great one. I was at an egg, and so I have that one now. But we do our shopping, our grocery shopping together sometimes and, with our good friend Meg. And that's the thing that we say in Ireland that you would never say over here. So, like, if you're out socially and you met somebody, you'd say, what's the crack? Oh. And crack is spelled C-R-A-I-C, which means... What's like, the scoop? What's the scoop? What oh. did you get up to last night? What's going on? Where what's are you going crack? tonight? What's the crack? I love it. Or do you have any crack? Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, that wouldn't go well in uh, No, Hartford. that wouldn't go well here. <laughs> but um, if you go over to Ireland and you so say to somebody, where's the crack at tonight? And that's like, what's happening? They will tell you, listen, this here's is what's party. going on. Here's the best party that's going <laughs> on tonight. So that's my scoop for you. If you're going to Ireland. What's which, the crack? Where's what's the, the crack? Where's the crack? So, you know. Or did you have any crack last night? <laughs> no. Yep. Yeah, but you wouldn't say that <laughs> you over here. You wouldn't say that here. No. And then sometimes we'll go dro grocery shopping, and Joanne drops a few things like, um, oh, you know, Dawn, when you get through the car, just throw it in the boot. And I'm like, the, the what? The, the boot. Throw it in the boot. And I'm like, what's the boot? And she's like, the trunk of the, the car. Trunk. So I'm like, oh, I didn't know what that and was. And we call them trolleys. Yes, did you remember I was saying that you have to get a trolley instead of a car? Yeah, I said, uh, she, she said, I'll get the trolley. I've got 25 cents. I'll put it in. And I'm like, trolley? There's no trolleys here. She's like, oh, the cart, the cart. So I love the little, little things that people say. And I know, um, so in a great Irish accent, how would you say, like, um, does your family want to meet at the pub tonight at 5? In Irish? Yeah. Or just with your accent, you can um, blow it on really strong for us here. Um, would you and your family like to go to the pub? Um, or for white lath, Chucky, <laughs> on Publox, <laughs> let the hole. <laughs> what? That's amazing. And that's just like, would you like to go to the pub with your family? So it um, sounds nothing like English. No, it's nothing like English. How many letters in the alphabet? Well, we have no V's, we have no W's, we have no Y's, we have no, we say Z's, but Z's. Really, Z's? No, yeah, yeah, we have no Z's. Um, so we have none of those, but we have everything else. But our BH is like a, a W. 
B-H is a W? Yes, yeah, it's like a W sound. So it's similar to the Polish uh, spelling that you have a K next to an S next to a P and that um, should be something. Yeah, like, um, it's kind of, it's kind of a weird language. Like it's not that compatible. It's not based off Latin or. Is there any other country besides Ireland that speaks Gaelic? Well, I mean, the, Scotland and parts of Wales and parts of northern France are all Celtic, so they're Celtic people, but they don't speak Gaelic or they don't speak Irish, no. Well, how about your brothers? Uh, we all speak Irish really badly okay. because we're not fluent speakers. And then once you graduate high school, you never use Irish again. You don't? Really. No, well, not really. No. And is it still, um, you know, I know a lot of people, the, the numbers have dropped uh, in America, all over the country with church and everything. Are people still very religious? No. no. It's become a so much more really secular changed. society. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I think we were the first country in Europe to have gay marriage. What? Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Which only passed a couple of years ago. Oh, I didn't know that. And... Um, do your door, whatever color you want. I picked now, green. How, how did you make that darker? Where did oh, you get the so black? Oh, so since we don't have black either, because, you know, <laughs> I mix up a lot over here, but you know what? It's so much easier. <laughs> so here's hers, and she's got the brick. <laughs> but don't worry. If we were okay. doing two episodes, but I want to learn about Ireland. So in, in college, I've told you before, you can't use black. So we're going to do it college style, Boston University style. So what you do is you try to do what uh, kids do with the finger pins. They mix all the colors together. Oh, and perfect. usually like a blue, a blue. and a, the brown over here. You can even throw some red in there because blue and red makes purple. And you're going to try to get something that is as dark as you can. You can even oh, throw dear. some green in. This is looking too good. So use. Oh, right. OK, it's looking a bit eh. purple. Do I or use Or you can use. Too? See, I've got this color going. It's kind of a green, but what I can do is throw it over here so she has some. Oh, okay, perfect. And we'll use that for our black. So, um, yeah, we're thinking about going to Ireland. I'm not sure when we're going to go, but April's a good time to go? April or May. I mean, it's very, very busy and sort of touristy June, July, and August. June, July, and August is busy because the summer's off for the kids and all that? Yeah. yeah. And so, And people you know, think it'll be hot, and it's not. It's never hot. It's never hot. No. Is it always raining? I would always bring a raincoat. Like, you'll go to Dublin and probably curse me and say, yeah, look, she was, it I was don't beautiful. know. She must have been on crack when she was on the crack of dawn. But <laughs> normally, no. I mean, where I'm from, West Coast, generally speaking, um, they get less good weather, plus it's more mountainous. Mm -hmm. So depending on where you are, like in Donegal, there's a lot of mountains. So as that moisture comes in, it comes up over the mountains and then comes down the other side and rains like crazy. Wow. Um, how about a flight to, to go to Ireland? I mean, can you fly out of Bradley still? Oh my goodness, yeah. And if you're gonna do it, you should do it because they have a tax incentive right now to um, have that flight at Bradley. That's gonna go away. It'll go and away. once it does, you're gonna be flying out of Newark or JFK or and it's a lot quicker Boston. flight from Hartford or the same thing as New York? It's five hours to get to Dublin. Wow. So, I mean, if, if you've ever flown to Los Angeles out of Bradley, I don't even know if there's an on-stop. There is definitely an on-stop to Dublin right now, and you'd be crazy not to go if you can, if you can wing it at all. And sometimes the fares are only like $500. See, that's a good, that's a good price. But round trip? Yeah. No, that's pretty good. Um, what else was I going to ask you? Um, who's the most, um, like here, you know, people have their celebrity people. Who's the most famous person in Ireland, like right now? Probably Is it Bono? you too. You I too. would think you, Bono. Bono. Yeah. Now, do you see him walking around? Like, do, is he nice? Like, well, I think he lives out in Holt, which is outside Holt. of Dublin, which is really nice. If you're going to go to Dublin, definitely take the bus out to Holt. Holt? And will you H -O -W -T -H. see him? H-O-W-T-H. Does he hang out there, or does he live here? Yeah, no, he, he hangs out there. And he's, the people like him? Is he good to the people fans? People like him, and I would say generally Irish people don't really give a hoot who you are. They don't? No, not really. And who runs the country? Well, we have a two-tier system. So mm -hmm. we have a president, which is more like you would have here, like someone who's an ambassador for, um, you know, the way you would send somebody to Africa or Asia or Europe, and they would represent you as, a, as, a, as an ambassador. So we have um, that person. 
And then we have someone that's known as a Taoiseach, which is a president. And really? the Taoiseach right now is the first openly gay, yeah. um, so is... mixed race Taoiseach. Okay. He's, his dad is Indian, his mom is Irish, oh. and his name is Leo Varadkar. Okay. He's young, he's, he's only about 45. And, okay. uh, so we're getting some diversity going in Ireland He's now. very progressive. Oh, it, People like Ireland him? has become massively diverse in the last 20 wow. years. Um, we went from being a very non-diverse um, ethnically and um, religiously and culturally to being a much more multicultural society in the last 10 years for sure. I don't know how to get that darker. And then, oh, I'll do it for you. And then let's switch. And okay. then the other thing, so we have like four minutes left. It goes by so fast. And then Joanne has to bolt in her in her car and I'm gonna sit and clean up. But as I said, um, and we did these, you know, cause we're really good friends. So I went over to her house and we kind of cheated and whipped one up quick. Yeah, cause uh, you wouldn't want to see this right yeah, now. Yeah, so, so I said, Joanne, good. we'll whip one up at your house on the lunch break. So we did that. Um, but it, it's so nice to have guests on because really it's, it's pretty easy to do. I'm just gonna show you how to do a couple bricks. And then, um, yeah, I, I wondered, every time my friends go to Ireland, they put on Facebook and they're always at that Guinness beer thing. Like, is that really, a, like, do people from Ireland go there? Or do they well, think no, it's not? No, I mean, I would go there to bring somebody there, but you should definitely have a pint of Guinness. Even if you don't like it, just try it once to see you tried it. And that tour is actually definitely worth going to oh, see. Yeah? yeah? The Guinness one, okay. Yeah, at the Guinness Brewery, yeah. And the other one that's really Jameson's. good. Jameson's, isn't that Irish? Jameson whiskey? Whiskey? No, I maybe it's not, I don't even know. Thinks, I don't drink. So she doesn't drink, can you believe it? Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> I don't drink, so I don't People know. People are like, Joanne's having a party, let's go. She's yeah, like, I think no. Jameson is and Bushmills is. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's more of a popular American thing to do? Well, yeah, it's kind of, you know, if you if you grew up in Dublin, I don't think you'd be going to the Guinness Brewery. You no. might. You might take your friends there if they were visiting or something, but uh -huh. you wouldn't really go. But I, when I go to Ireland, I still go and see things that tourists would go yeah. and see. Like I went out to um, Ackle Island last summer, which was gorgeous. I'd recommend that. It's off the coast of Mayo. Ackle Island, okay. Um, Sleeve League, where I'm from, in Donegal. Um, the Giant's Causeway up outside of um, Belfast in County Antrim. New Grange in County Meath, which is this, like, m it's this megalithic, megalithic tomb, which was built before the pyramids. It's amazing. Wow, wow. What about the Blarney amazing. Stone? Do you want to kiss that, or is that people no, do funny things to that? I don't want to do that. that. Yeah. No, because it's covered in lipstick. Uh, oh, no. really? Yeah. Uh, I, w I mean, to each his own, but I wouldn't be a fan of that. Yeah, I can't remember what we did when we went there, but I remember just real, it was my, my, one of my favorite countries. My parents took us to Holland and then we traveled around. We got stuck over there because they went on strike with the boat. And if you're looking for good food, ask local people because Irish food gets bashed. And okay, it's so actually just... really, really good food, but you just have to ask local Irish people, don't go down the chip shop and get chips. So I can say, where's the crack? Yeah, what's the crack? Where's the crack tonight? Where's the crack tonight? Did you have any crack last night? Yeah. Okay, we have one minute left, so I just want to thank Joanne for coming on with us. And, you know, if you see us in the grocery store. <laughs> yes, <laughs> say hello. Yeah, we sometimes she buys some Irish stuff every now and then. I don't buy. Um, Joanne also is a uh, trainer at the YMCA, so uh, I took her class once. I had to call my doctor the other, right after I took it. I'm like, I think I fell downstairs. He goes, no, you took Joanne's class. So <laughs> this girl here, <laughs> she's going to make me a flat line right on her bike. But she's at the Y, and you'll see her running around, and great friend of mine. I'm so glad you came on. Well, thank you for well, having me. Thank goodness oh, you didn't I didn't see what I painted because it's a dog's dinner. Well, maybe over here. one one time I can get uh, <laughs> Joanne's husband Rick and my husband Tony would be a perfect match on yes. the show, but I don't think that's going to happen. No, I don't think. But so, uh, now you're traveling to Ireland soon, right? I'm going to be there this summer, but I'm going to go home and see my mom maybe April May time. That's great. Yep. So I love it. Next time I go to Ireland, I can't wait to say, "Got some where's, crack? Where's the crack? Where's the crack?" <laughs> You can ask, <laughs> what? have you got some crack? But I would say, where's, where's the, the crack? crack? Yeah. And people drink beer there or everything? Everything. 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 And what about the drunk driving laws? Are they like here? Bad? Oh, they're strict. Very strict. Yes, okay. they used to not be strict. I hitchhiked once with a guy who had a bale of hay in the front of the car, <laughs> and he was really drunk, so I told him I had got home in time. And it I've wasn't literally gone from here to like five feet down the road. But that's changed. <laughs> that's you so can't do funny. that anymore, no. 
So uh, for those of you who do go to Ireland, I'd love to hear about it. I'm so excited that it's a safe country, which is nice. Yes, uh, it is. It's very safe. So, you know, a lot of people go places where there's uh, not so safe. It's still a safe country. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for my hair. Uh, had a great time on the show. I did not wear green, but I do have green eyeshadow on. Um, my daughter's James Charles collection. So thank you for tuning in on the crack of dawn and we'll do a door another time. But if you want to come on the show, I would love it. Thank you, Joanne, for coming on. Thank we'll you, keep Joanne. painting our door. And you know, we just keep babbling on while the credits are playing. But what I do is I'll, and they can yeah. still hear us on the credits, but this what I- This is not looking too good. That's okay, nobody's looking at yours. I think I might have been on crack. <laughs> <laughs> so when I do the break.